Okay, if you've never been here, this is my race fly camp. And I just wanted to show you a bit about the outside of it. It suits my needs for what I want to do up here. And I enjoy the remoteness and just the relaxation of it, except for cutting the grass, of course. Well, we have everything we need up here. Looking at the cabin, there's a porch swing, a little front porch. Along the side, I have my 14-foot Feathercraft aluminum boat. And on the rack over here, I have a 14-foot Mad River <coughs> canoe, along with a 12-foot 12 12-foot 12 native watercraft which is a nice handy little thing. Heading toward the back, I got my makeshift shed to keep things out of the weather, so to speak. I'd really like to show you my cable TV set up here, or my satellite dish, if you can get it. I don't know if I got it or not. And on the back, I recently built a porch on the back, screened it in. And in addition, straight ahead is also an outdoor shower. It has nice hot water. The water is drawn from the little pond over here, frog pond, fish pond, whatever you want to call it. And of course, no place is complete without somewhere to relieve yourself. But, and we have the deck with the grill grill's old but it works and I also have my little vegetable garden I like gardening the tomato plants seem to be doing well and over here we have a little fire pit it's uh, not like the fire rings you see in uh, a lot of places this is a little bit bigger than that and over here we have my 14 foot rockwood camper just in case somebody wants to pay a visit and camp on the property or do whatever. And over there is my little pump house. It has a <coughs> little shallow water well pump to pump water out of the pond here. And that's about it. It, uh, like I say, suits my needs. And for now, I've got to, there's always work to be done. So I was about to, I just got done fishing the Piscataquis River, came back and I know I have work to do, so I've got to drive a few nails here, and you got, see we've got an assortment of tools, we got a hammer, got a little hoe for gardening, and we have this set up for some other type of work. But anyway, here's this box of, well, they're not nails, so it's a box of flies. It's a box of flies, imagine that. Well, maybe that's an omen. Maybe that's telling me I shouldn't pick the hammer up. Instead, pick up this seven and a half foot, Cabela's seven and a half foot, three forks, three weight rod. It's a real sweet rod, and it happens to have a Hornberg on it. A little Hornberg dry. Well, maybe we'll see what's in this thing over here. We don't know. But like I said, this is a real sweet rod. It's a grand total of like 60 bucks. And it's sweet, but I can only imagine what an $800 rod, how sweet that would be. It'd be like a rock candy. Maybe that's it. They're very, very solid. So they don't flex much and a lot of work. Or really nothing at all. So we'll just try skating this Hornberg <coughs> on the pond here. See if anybody likes it. I don't know what's in here. Rumor has it there's a few brook trout. The biggest that was in here was like 14 and a half inches, but I didn't see him last year. And uh, That was last time, two years ago. Of course, I see great blue herons in this, bitterns, all of which will easily take down any small trout. But uh, 
rumor has it there might be a landlocked salmon in here. It's the word on the street. <coughs> right now, we don't seem to know of anything that's in here. <coughs> but that's okay. When I was doing the uh, porch in back and also the outdoor shower, it was nice because it was really hot and it was just a pleasure to take a break, put down the hammer and pick up a rod, all within a matter of 30 feet. So some things have their rewards, but right now we're not being rewarded. The fish don't care if it's father. Oh, he just missed it. He missed it. He was after it. He wanted it. So maybe they do want to take care of me on Father's Day. <clears throat> it's nice. It's like 80 degrees. Pond is still, well, still most of the time anyway, completely surrounded by trees in here. Some big ones at that. But I don't know. Don't seem to want to cooperate.